So hello everyone. I am Satish Sharma, senior lead from Salton Technologies. So in this session, I will talk about uh, Labio Code Compare tool for uh, Git. So agenda for this session is like I'll talk about what's SLL toolkit and the Labio Code Compare tool uh, for Git. What does the tool offer? Its use cases. How do we get started? And demo of the tool with an example uh, Git repository. So what's the SLL uh, toolkit? So it's a collection of useful general purpose lab reusables from Salton Technologies. And you can find more details about uh, it at our open source uh, GitHub repository. And you can download the package from VIPM uh, by searching for uh, SLL uh, toolkit. So Karthik Abiram had a session earlier uh, in GLA Summit. And you can check out the recording in case you had missed it. So it talks about the different uh, tools uh, and reusables available as a part of the SLL uh, toolkit. And the SLL lab your code compare tool uh, for Git is uh, one of the tool uh, available in the toolkit. And it is an GUI uh, to compare lab your code uh, between a currently checked down branch uh, with any other branch or any of its uh, commits. So we'll see a demo of the tool shortly. Uh, coming to what the tool offers, it has an intuitive interface to compare code between current branch and any other branch or uh, commit. And it is easy to use tool uh, with no complex configurations required in the Git configuration for enabling the code comparison for uh, LabU uh, specific files. And with that said, uh, it's easy for beginners or for experts or for people who are not familiar with Git configurations or the different Git uh, different custom diff options available in the different Git GUI clients. And this means that this tool can uh, work uh, with any Git GUI client and is uh, only needs the Git uh, to operate. And it uses the built-in VA comparison tool, which we are all familiar with. So we can uh, easily get all the changes from the native LabVIEW tool itself. And we can review all the changed uh, files of the current branch within the LabVIEW environment which means we don't need to switch branches, no manual downloading of the same file from the other branch or commit, uh, renaming and placing it in the correct location uh, for the VA comparison tool to work, uh, right? So almost all the manual steps are taken care by the tool uh, itself. So as a summary, this tool streamlines and eliminates a lot of manual steps involved uh, in the code comparison review uh, process. So coming to the use cases, uh, first and foremost, it enables faster pull request reviews. So with this tool, it's a single place to view all the changed files of the current branch and perform the code review. And uh, we multiple manual steps related to the pull request reviews are uh, automated uh, by the tool itself. And we can also use this tool in general for uh, comparing a stale branch to a master branch or a main branch. Uh, and we can decide on the next steps of whether to merge it or uh, discard the stale branch. So during the evolving uh, requirements of the project, multiple branches may have been uh, left out and we can easily see what's been left out in those uh, stale branches and then compare the code. So how do we get started on the tool? So we can get started easily with a few three to five simple steps. So first we can uh, check out the branch of interest in our system using any of the Git methods, Git command line, or any of the desktop Git GUI clients we are using. Uh, in the tool, uh, provide the repository path uh, in our system. Specify the comparison mode, whether we want to compare with branch or a commit. Select the branch or commit of the target. And then hit compare. So we will see the changes uh, of those uh, between the current branch and the branch or commit are uh, displayed. So we'll see a demo of this uh, tool. So here I have an uh, example repository uh, created uh, for the demo. It's a local repository. Uh, and uh, here I see that I am checked out in main and it has few VAs, a uh, few files. And uh, let's say I wanted to uh, review the, uh, or review or compare the uh, extend input range branch. So it has few modifications uh, done to the files and uh, I wanted to review. So I will check out the branch So currently in the branch that I wanted to review, 
So we can open the tool. Uh, once we have installed the SLL toolkit, we can find the com compare tool at tools menu, SLL toolkit, SLL lab code compare tool for Git. So it opens up the tool and it has few pages for documentation uh, stuffs. Uh, I want to provide the repository path. I'll select the repository that I have for demo. So you can see that it has picked up the branch that is currently checked out. And since it's a local repository, it hasn't been published to remote yet. And we can see the status that it is unpublished. And uh, we can see the local branches. And if it has been published, we would also be seeing the remote uh, branches of the repository as well. So I wanted to compare this branch with the main branch. So I'll select the main branch. I'm in the branch comparison mode. And I'll hit on compare. So it shows the list of changes. So th the same thing we can see in the Git GUI client as well. So we are able to see the changes here. And uh, it is a modified file, right? So I could simply select the file and then double click on it to initiate a comparison. So it opens up the native LabVIEW uh, comparison tool. And here we could see the, all the changes are uh, listed. So this was, uh, so this add.va is the file uh, from the current branch. And we can see the other uh, file from the main branch uh, also open. And it has been suffixed with uh, temp. And it is also placed in the same directory as add.va is present so that the lab will be able to load the relative dependencies uh, and then in a, be in a meaningful state to do the code comparison easily. So we can see that as per the branch, uh, the inputs representations are uh, changed to double for extending the um, range support. And we can go over each of the changes during the review and uh, on the block diagram and front panel. Once we are done with the review, we can close the comparison and we can move on to the next one. So again, double click on the file. It opens up the comparison. And uh, this VA also has uh, gone through similar changes. And we know that what all the changes has been uh, applied. And we can be make sure that the complete the comparison and then the review process. So we could see also see that uh, uh, the files that are compared has a check mark for us to easily track uh to uh, see the status like if we have covered all the vas or not so this is uh, in case when we have a uh, branches and coming in for the first review uh, we will be comparing with the uh, uh, main branch let's say if we have uh, already done uh, one review iteration and we wanted to uh, check the review comments so here i have one more branch for the demo so let's say like we have uh, completed a review uh, of this branch uh, up to the up to this specific commit update library account and few review, review comments were uh, provided in the pull request uh, uh, of this uh, branch so after that we see that there are more comments for the review comments so if you wanted to check the review comments um, first i will check out on the branch i'll refresh uh, here so here uh, during the first review we would have been compared with the main branch so it would have uh, listed its own changes. Mostly new files would be showing as addition. If there are any files that are absolute, it would have been deleted and a few other modifications available as well. Let's say we had a completed one round of review and we wanted to review uh, the newer commits, right? So I could select the same branch and go into the commit comparison mode. And this, is, this would be a commit which you would have previously uh, reviewed. So I wanted to review the branch uh, against newer commits. So I am selecting the already reviewed commit. And if I click compare, it shows the changes uh, that happened recently in the same uh, branch. So again, uh, we can double click on the file to initiate the comparison. So it shows the change and uh, as per the Review comments, we could see that uh, divide it has updated VA icon and for subract it has uh, output representation changes. So we can see the same thing uh, here for the divide. Uh, only the icon changes alone were uh, modified and no other accidental changes are introduced. So this file is good and uh, subract VA again initiating a comparison. So it opens up the comparison. 
and we could see the changes in terms of like uh, fixed the representation uh, to double so that it matches the input uh, range and then supports it so again this is uh, these ways are for examples but showcases that uh, it will identify all the changes that are uh, available in the va uh, compared to the previous commit so we can go over the different changes and once we are done we can uh, close the comparison yeah so th so this is the short demo on the tool and uh, yeah thanks to uh, hampel software engineering for providing the git api which makes a lot of git related operations easier uh, for the tool to perform all right so let us see few questions uh, from the chat so would it be listing modified files or unchanged uh, files also so it is going to list only the modified files so unchanged files uh, will not be listed uh, here so whatever changes that has been uh, committed as part of the branch uh, from across various commits only those uh, changes will be listed as a change uh, here so does this tool handle vas that are part of a class that might have sub vas that are not public in the scope so all the vas uh, any uh, all the individual files that are identified by the git will be shown uh, by the tool so the same file uh, when we are initiating the comparison the same file from the other branch will be referred for comparison so uh, as long as the files are uh, available in both the uh, uh, branches or commits and then it's modified right we could see the changes uh, it is and uh, it includes uh, it will also include all the sub vas uh, as a part of uh, those top level va uh, since the compared va is also placed in the same uh, directory yeah and this uh, tool supports all the labview uh, va control files which means uh, va files va templates control files control templates and malleable vas so all those that are supported by the labview compare uh, is uh, supported uh, by the tool so which commits are the sub vas in the copied va so in terms of sub vas uh, in case if the sub vas are uh, not modified they will not come under this uh, modified list so which means the sub vas are same across both the branch and then the reference branch that we are comparing with so when we initiate a comparison uh, both the files will uh, refer to the same sub va in case if a sub va has been modified uh, between the main branch and then the top level branch uh, it would uh, also be listed in this list but if we are referring or if we are comparing in a uh, top level va which uses a sub va it will most likely uh, will use the latest sub vi uh, version available in the checked out uh, branch so for example if uh, subrat is having a sub vi uh, which is like uh, also modified so for the latest uh, the currently checked out branch it will be in the proper state where it is uh, having the latest code with the latest uh, link to the version latest version of the sub vi but the old code will uh, refer to the uh, newer version of the sub vi unless there are any prototype changes right we will not see any uh, much code brokerage uh, even if it is sub vi are modified right the comparison doesn't affect the top level vi comparison we could see that there is some change in the sub vi is being used uh, in the top level vi and since those sub vi are also part of this modified list when we are going over the sub vi modifications right we could verify uh, how the sub vi has uh, modified uh, between the uh, current branch and then the other uh, target branch so does this tool support oct actor framework or other frameworks so it is not framework dependent it is mostly about the individual files so git list all the changes as individual files right so uh, this tool just pick ups all the individual files modifications and then list them and then whenever we are initiating a comparison it just simply fetches the same file from the other branch and then uh, puts it in the same uh, same uh, location for comparison so irrespective of the framework uh, all the files modified files uh, will be supported by the uh, tool 
So under the hood, you use one VA from VA library to compare both the VAs. It programmatically launches the VA comparison tool. So yes, this launches the VA, uh, but uh, since uh, this VA uh, would have been like renamed with a different suffix, uh, it would just launch the VA uh, with the file path, but it would have not been uh, linked to the library as the parent library would not recognize this new file. Uh, the file from the current branch will be in a proper linked state, but the file from the other uh, branch uh, would have not been linked. So in that case, it will show us a broken uh, state. But that doesn't affect the comparison as LabVIEW will be able to still perform the comparison irrespective of whether it's linked to a library or not, or whether it's programmatically linked to the same library uh, that we are initiating the comparison uh, for. So Karthik in the chat has provided a link to the uh, repository. So any questions, uh, any uh, please give this tool a try and any issues or any feedbacks we can uh, have the discussions in the github repository and uh, we can uh, discuss over there so that's it i have uh, for this session thank you